Baby, I need my purpose. <laughs> <Just> shut up. <laughs> You're in trouble for that. No purpose for you. Come on, we gotta go eat. Oh, that's it. Well, 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 it would not happen. Okay. We have Dennis. 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 We have Ways to do things better, ways to troubleshoot your mind, body, spirit, and technology. How to work with the tech while we still have access to the technology that we got. There might be a time when, you know, we're taking all this for granted, but what would happen if it's all gone and we have to rely back on ourselves and our own technology inside of us? We've got to be prepared for that. So my, my favorite research for many decades has been the study of ascension. The study of activating our own powers, our own, you know, getting out of our brain, getting into our heart, accessing all-knowing intelligence, you know, being able to release the gods within us and how to ascend into that form. And very few people truly understand what ascension is, what the process is, you know, they think it's a light body transformation or where you go when you die, but, you know, I've been working on understanding and being able to achieve that which is within ourselves to become the best us human man with a capital M right. instead of little man that we can be. Right. Thank you. Amen. 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 Let's, let's give this guy a hand. He's an impossible person, but he held it together. He made this possible. Let's give him a big hand. And stand for a yeah. Yeah. I appreciate it. No, please, please don't do that. Thank you. I love, uh, I love all of you. Thank I love you. all the audience in, at, uh, who watched this later on or who watched on the stream. And uh, we love you all. At this point, uh, I, yeah, I, I want you, let me ask you a question. Sure. Um, okay. This is lost, like, uh, like Mr. Mr. Right? Right? If you calm down, I will remember where I was going. If you calm down. If you calm down. <laughs> yeah, this, uh, this is a very big question. We didn't come here just to talk. We came here to plan something to achieve for the society, the country, the world. What uh, direction we push in the consciousness, the action in business, uh, spirituality, uh, uh, ufology, alienology, disclosure, and uh, government, military. You know, what do we want to? picture for the future, not not what it is, because what it is, is flat. We go to 5D, we want to do different things. So what do you uh, say about... You know, I have to say, despite everything, you are a visionary. And you put this together because you saw a bigger picture. No, you're a bigger visionary than me. We're not, we're not comparing. But I mean, Peace you name it. What do you mean about the future? <laughs> anyway. I think what you created here is the ability to see that we are not local beings, that we have consciousness that's, that's beyond right. our bodies, that's that right. we can achieve what we want in this world. We can show the outside that we're not brainwashed, we're not conditioned. We can take the power back into ourselves and we can create a new world just by the seeds that were planted here. Know that we're non-local. We are of a greater cosmos. And when we take that back out into the world, we change reality. So let's make it happen. So the answer to that question, so, so the answer to that question is just keep being yourself. Exactly. But no, that you have a consciousness. And, and if you know anything that I was gonna ask this lady at the space program, these Nazi haters, if you know anybody that's got an alien as a UFO, if they wanna take me on the ship and probe me and pick me, <laughs> stick their fingers out of my ears and my and they'll let me drive that sucker because I'm from South Carolina and Daytona's my, and Darlington is my way and I'm a NASCAR man. All I'm willing to do is let 
me take it round the moon and back. And how many miles per gallon does that sucker get? A gasoline in Albuquerque, New Mexico tonight is seven dollars and thirty-nine cents a gallon, matching the liter gallon price in Europe. The set and the game is on in downtown Santa Monica, five fifty-nine. So when you start to get a grip on the games in play, the games in play. And that you came here at the right time and the right place to realize you are really you. The divine difference that understanding and love makes. Uh, Mr. Mr. Denon, uh, Mr. Brinkley, can I ask you a question? No. Okay, right. Well, as we all know, 2020 was a wash. It was about a year ago when we got news and everything was shutting down, including the conferences. And many conferences that a lot of us attend were canceled or went into the <laughs> online realm. And it's, it's not quite the same. And I have many conferences coming up that are online, and it's just like another interview you do on your, in front of your computer. There's no human well, touch. Yeah. Just thank you guys out there in the audience. <laughs> it's and really Every soul is a light. David, let me just finish. I do have a point. <laughs> that when we can see you guys face to face, it means so much to us, too. Because when you just talk to a computer screen, it's not the same. So to bring back the live events, and this is in props to you, David. Congratulations for Thank getting you. us all together. I appreciate it. And, and it's so funny to do these events in casinos. You see everybody on the slot machines <laughs> gambling, and you look at them like, whoa, okay, you're into that, all right. Good luck, because you're not going to win. But, and then, how surreal was it that the Miss America pageant was, oh, oh, was next door to and the basketball people, and they're all hooting and hollering, and we're in here doing our 5 d event. Well, this is the definition of esoteric. When you have a select group of people that are grokking onto this yes, subject, yeah, you're at the point. and they're not watching basketball and Miss America. Yeah, we could have fought it right now, but we're talking about something very precious about the humanity. You know, uh, let's say, let, let's say, like, uh, I want in the future, I don't want senators to be paid by pharma, big pharma. I want my representatives I want my representative to be honest for people, for, for who is selected and elected, not to get paid, uh, you know, so that's one thing. I want my military not attack 50 countries for oil and power and in front of China or, or Russia, but America, China, and Russia be a joint venture of friendship and exchange. The more difference we have, but we can have a common point with Chinese. They have something that we need and we have something they need. And future is not about we separate and fight and have a third world war. The future is about how the Russian guy will understand you. What's the American culture and the needs and the future of the world is about how to work with America, not to fight. And Russia has been good in that. But Chinese frame of mind is totally different. What about the rest of the panel? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. And I'll, only to conclude, it's a good thing I can remember my train of thought after uh, this brief uh, interview. And it's just to say thank you guys for coming out. Yeah. Amen. Amen.
thing out there called the hundred monkey effect. Exactly, I love that. That if a hundred monkeys figured out a, a new skill, that automatically the rest of that species got it. What we're doing here is getting that hundred monkey. Exactly. Very nice sense. So, we, we are the architect of the future. You know, we so like a, 11 people here. Number 11 came to this event, you know. God's purpose on this table. Excuse me, you can talk about that later. But God's purpose on this table to bring something special because we are 11. That's a very magnificent number. Go ahead. <laughs> so, Decide what y'all want, want to have the entire species understand. Nice. You're a good teacher. You are beautiful and you are the best. It, it does go out exponentially. You know, if you take a penny and double it each time, just one penny, and you double it each time on the checkerboard, you know, the 64 squares on the chessboard, all you have to do is tell two friends, and it, go, it does go out that way. And that's the principle I've been using since the 80s. Just telling two people, laying low, flying under the radar, get, getting the information out there. And, you know, thank you, sorry for listening to me, just to put chemtrails on a poster, Fluoride, sodium fluoride, whatever. Thank you for listening to me and putting it just to get it out there. Talk about it. I'm not going to talk about that. I don't care. It's been a poster. You know, get it out there. And you tell just two friends, and then they tell two friends. And before you know it, it, it does go out there. And, it, you know, we're, we're, don't, we don't have to wait any longer. There's going to be a red pill ex, um, explosion, uh, and it's just going to go out there. You know, like, Basically what's happening is you're waiting for that activation energy where there's the flashpoint, where there's a nice ignition, there's a spark that starts the fire and, and that's what you're looking for and that's what happens and, and we're reaching that point quick and, and you're going to see it at, at some point you're going to rise up, they're going to have a rude awakening, okay, and, and then everybody will be on page, so get ready for a great new freedom-based, constitutionally-based. You're going to have to figure out what to do with all your free time and money, and it won't be an issue. And, and it's greatness. I'm so, you know, I'm celebrating, and I'm just so happy this all came to an end. I, I'm happy the pandemic happened. I'm happy we needed something to bring us together and make us see it clearly. That's right. It's so easy to clear, to, and, and they had to do it this way. We're so impatient to say, why didn't they just arrest them? And, you know, but yeah, but we would have had a fiat currency that went dead. We would have maybe a civil war or something. They had to do it exactly right and follow it, you know, and they didn't want anybody to get hurt. That's the most important. Thank you. So we're all blessed and, 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 and rejoice. It's here. Thank you. God bless you. James. So, what, um, raise your hand if you are considered the black sheep of your family. <laughs> okay. So, as you know, when the disclosure process takes place, you are all going to be the ambassadors amongst your spheres of influence. So, by improving yourself, by coming to places like this, and the education process is ongoing, you help improve the evolution of all because we're all connected together as just uh, one um, family, and through love and light, we can bring about this new light to the entire world, and uh, so you are all making a difference. Don't feel like you're not making a difference, because you are. Thank you. Thank you. All right, I just want to start with that. You guys are not black sheep. You guys are aligned sheep. And you're also Syrian warriors, because yes. we have a battle on our hands, but we can do it. 
Think with your love, think with the heart, see what you want to manifest, and that's the kind of world we'll have. The best they got, that happens to be us. Right? She said, we couldn't, we're in a war, yeah? We're in the battle for the souls of humankind through health care. Well, we're the best she has, we are the very best. How do you think that we're going to lose? The witness sent us to hold the light at this time, at this presence, at this point, if it didn't depend on us to be us. Okay, that's the thing we take away. It brought to us in America I don't know the light of the world. Our message from America. That's the way, that's it like listening to Carl talk about the, the, the levels of consciousness, okay? Carl is beautiful and wonderful if you listen to him as a, as a pre-classic mind. He was awesome. It's brilliant, brilliant about how things work in the cycles of reality. It's brilliant. And it says we're entering a wave of consciousness where a new idea is born, and it even goes to the point of expressing as technology. We have a side-by-side -side world existing next to us that exposes dimensional reality as the way their damn cell phone works, shows multiple, dimens multiple dimensional reality as a concept, and it operates parallel within the framework of our physical existence but does not exist as zeros and ones. It's only a magnetic charge. It's only attracting itself or repelling itself, and Carl expresses that as beautiful for anybody that wants to understand it. The universe is so orderly and so structured. You are so chosen and so chosen. You so chose and were so chosen to be here at this place at this time, and if you don't own that, you try to figure out and argue about reality not being formulated equal to the Mayan presentation they called this Jesus. Jesus. Wow. I love this rap. And as you said, Daniel Brinkley, the man of the future. What do you want to be next uh, life when you come back? It's not you. I decided I would give up my trip on driving me a UFO if they just Seriously, like, what was the question, man? I thought God <laughs> <more than that. laughs> <I'm kidding. laughs> The question, brother, was after what he said, he said the best thing ever anybody said in my events. <laughs> but but you, no, this is. What was the question? Seriously, you asked the I got lost time. No, <laughs> the future for us in 5D, where we're going as a culture, society. What, what oh, okay. Future of the this world. Is, uh, this is what I'm doing, and uh, my brothers and sisters. Okay. My thing is, I want to to have you all and the world be able to be sincere with one another. No more telling lies because. Yeah. Laugh now or cry later, baby. You cannot lie. Like if you guys talk to us, secret space program people, or people that love unconditioning, we'll say. We, there's no way you can lie to us. We already know. We already saw the future, baby, so. <laughs> We're time travelers. Genetically, so. you're telepathic. And, um, With our heart, too, so yeah. Psyche. Anyway, that, that's one of my goals. Yeah. You're operating humans. Let so. me talk. Just kidding, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> She's a star woman. Oh. I'm hungry! <laughs> oh my god. There you go. No, no, that's not where we get eight thirty. No work. Let's say Jake and Brad are having an appointment. But you know what I like to keep the audience so long. Yeah. So one one of my more uh, interesting subjects that I studied in UC Santa Cruz while I was doing my multimedia major was memeology, memetics. And uh, Santa Cruz was the birthplace of the meme. But very few people really understand what the meme is. We just see it as funny things posted on the internet and you know cat videos, whatever. But what a meme is, is, is kind of a viral form of the thoughts, the beliefs, advertisements, songs, religions, all of them. Santa Claus is a meme. That, the purpose of it, just like, just like a virus. And, what's that? We've come back to hieroglyphs and pictographs <laughs> and the relationship of expressing emotion. Those were the ancient memes. Exactly. 
Yeah. So, so the purpose of it is, is like a virus, its biological function is to propagate into as many people as possible. Where each one has its own survival mechanism, its own transmission mechanism. Different thoughts have different ways of sticking into different people's heads. Some people's immune system within their thought forms that they already have reject the meme or accept it as their own and try to spread it to all the people that they can. So a lot of things in politics or, or meme medics, advertisers learn how to harness the meme in order to get people to buy their products. We're trying to use the memes to, to spread information. Of, you know, they're neutral. They're, they're not good or bad. You know, it's in how they're used. When a song gets stuck in your head, you know, it, it, it infests your brain with neurons and it starts to spread and then you try to get other people to get that song stuck in your head. You know, so it's it's kind of an organic form of, of our thoughts and how we transmit it. And, yes, sir. Yeah. And, and it's also seeing within the media ecology, you know, how the news is working, how, you know, memes that are spread through TV and movies, and a lot of them are really good and they should be spread. And a lot of them can be really dangerous, just like a virus. They're either you know safe bacteria or dangerous bacteria. You're right. Media is lying, right? Media does not sometimes, or they don't get the facts. They get superficial, right, uh, Mr. Jacob? They don't get the uh, real news. They want to spread what they see or what they hear from public in a Fake different news. Fake news. Yeah. yeah. So. We need a better media. Yeah, yeah, the idea that all news is fake is also a media. I mean, That's they created so much law. So we have such a big government. That's one of our problems. We have such a huge government that things doesn't get done. The guy in Washington, three months, they can't agree over one little thing. In China, in two seconds, they get done. Billions of people tomorrow jump on it. And they're already uh, doing things in the space that I, I, it would be embarrassing if you talk about it for U.S. And they are 20 years ahead of us in number of technologies. So the aliens, the aliens came there. Yeah, and, and Russians, they have other stuff that we don't have. So we are Americans, we are pioneers in the space, in disclosure, in medicine, especially our medicine, nobody has in the world and our technologies in aerospace and stuff, nobody has in the world. So America brings hope. Tomorrow in Middle East, they will listen to us. They say, oh, America, they said that, let's do that. So every hope you bring for a planet, tomorrow will be done across the world. Every, everything, if CNN would broadcast this thing, tomorrow the world would be a new, new world. But, but let me say this and then I'll stop. But listen to me, Dave. Where you were yesterday, everybody, the Chinese delegation meeting the Biden delegation yesterday in Alaska and today. It is so humiliating, you cannot stand yourself. What you met, what we let them say and do to us in protocol, in, in diplomatic understanding, in the nature of how we negotiate and sit before each other without any preconditions, we did this is the first time we've never put preconditions on it other than Trump going to Korea, okay? And the humiliation that the scorn that the Chinese put on America will embarrass the utter crap out of you. And will you hear it and will you see it? No, you have to find him. You have to find the other people who are keeping that white man who fed that information. He looks at it from a military psychological point of view. It's objective, goal, goal, success at all costs. Achieve the goal. This is why he's important, okay? But if you look at what happened, and I'm telling you this with all my heart, turn your focus on what's happening in Israel. Turn your focus on it. If I'm right, then they're going to set up a way to destroy the, the Jewish people as it is recognized today. That means they're going to make them get vaccine. They're going to set up a model program to create a world religion using the environment and using Jerusalem as the focus. And I will guarantee you this. The Biden administration will come forth with a program based on land exchange based on land exchange, that with the pre-67 guidelines, okay, so it's old Jerusalem, East Jerusalem, where all the sacred sites are, no one's thought of that. The, the thing that Trump did with Jared Kushner was take away the Palestinians' rights. 
Okay, it was horrible. I wrote in Saved by the Light a whole section on the disappearance of Jordan. This is 25 years ago I wrote this, that Jordan would disappear. If they take over East Jerusalem and they take over the West Bank, the West Bank belongs to Jordan. And right now, that is the issue that's fighting in Israel. Focus on Israel. Every piece of information you can get, get it. And see if they're not doing to the, the, if the, the people who are ruling, are doing to the, to the Hebrews, a tough, proud group of individuals, the same things that the Nazis did. The same thing is being perpetrated on them. That's the system, and I'll bet you I'm right. Thank you. Okay, at this moment, I want five of you, only five, to stand up if you have a question, point which uh, speaker and ask your question. Anybody have a question? Um, Saeed, we, I, I, we have to go, some of us have to go, so I just want to say it's been great. Damien puts a serious point to this whole conference that it's really up to us. We have to make a difference out there because it seems like there are just sheep out there. We need to take charge of our life and our reality and go out there and tell people what you've heard here. It doesn't matter if they believe it or not, but exactly. we, we need to wake people up because that's our only hope that we're going to change something out there because no one else is listening. They're all hypnotized. So how are we going to do it Mind control. right here with us? That's we did it in the weekend. Well, it's after the weekend I'm talking about. <laughs> well, next event we will finalize it better. But thank you all for being here. It's good. Thank you so much. Let's go, players. Five minutes. Any picture with the speakers anybody wants? Thank you. I didn't mean to end it there. It's just just okay. <laughs> See you we don't want to leave. We don't want to leave. Yeah, Thank you. Here, Said, I got a good 27 minute video. 27 minutes. Did you stop it? I can stop it.